Hope you're having a good day wherever you're at and however you have found our video today in Exodus 34. We want to look at verse 18. And this goes to the Passover. It says, um, you must celebrate the festival of unleavened bread. This was otherwise known as the Passover because when you go back and remember that Passover that took place uh, when they left Egypt. And Passover meaning when the angel of death passed over the Israelite homes and struck the firstborn of the Egyptian homes. God told them, said, look, you're going to have to get out of here quick. And so we instructed Moses to tell them, look, bake some bread, but don't even bother with the yeast. You don't have time for it to rise. Unleavened bread. So it's you know more like uh, uh, they're, they're eating some, uh, some tortillas. <laughs> it's kind of a, a, a reasonable description of what's going on here. Uh, but they have this festival of unleavened bread. It says, for seven days, the bread you eat must be made without yeast, just as I commanded you. Celebrate this festival annually at the appointed time in early spring in the month of Abib, for that is the anniversary of your departure from Egypt. So this was all about the celebration of the departure from Egypt. It's what all of, that's what Passover is. They're celebrating that. What a moment that is when you have been in captivity as a people for 400 years. You are freed by God. That's something you want to look back and, and celebrate. You know, we think about us in our country. You know, we celebrate the 4th of July. All right, That's our Independence Day. This is their Independence Day. That's, that, that's the bottom line of what it is. You know, ours were men signing the Declaration of Independence. Uh, theirs is literally the God of the universe intervening supernaturally through the death of the firstborn to move them out of Egypt. So it's just an incredible moment for them that is celebrated. And they want it to be passed on from generation to generation. So you fell, celebrate this annually. So this was something that they would remember across time. And they still do this today. They're still celebrating this today. So leaven the or the yeast itself is very interesting. Because all throughout the Bible, um, this, this leaven or yeast is seen as being representative of sin and how just a little bit of sin can can spoil everything. Just a little bit of leaven can cause everything to change. So that's a symbol that runs throughout. So it's also in a lot of ways symbolically a call to holiness. Uh, but it's a little interesting one verse here when you look at that that's uh, pretty fascinating that they are still celebrating this same meal in the same way for the same purpose because God does not change. Be blessed. See you later.